The type of fats we eat affect our health significantly, and over the past few years, it seems like much has changed about which fats are the best ones to mm -hmm. eat. And this morning, we have nutritionist Sue Morris from Kowalski's Markets here with the latest recommendations. Sue, thank you so much for coming in because yes. this can be really confusing for a lot of people. It is because the headlines keep switching up, and so you're butter is like, good, butter is right. bad, exactly. And you're going to break it down. So we're going to start with two different kinds of fat, correct? Right. So this is sort of the helicopter view. There's okay. saturated fat and there's unsaturated fat. Saturated fat is solid at room temperature. Unsaturated fat, liquid at room temperature. Got it. But and we're going to start with the fat that's not good with it. For right. Us. Yep. So there's a thumbs down on trans fats, and you really can't buy trans fats to cook with. But so many products have them still even though we know that there isn't anything good to say about trans fats. So anytime you see on a label partially hydrogenated or hydrogenated just but we love donuts Sue. And it's fine. I mean that's 80-20 gal. So it's <laughs> fine to have a donut just no and not all donuts have trans fats, but bakery products tend to be one of those categories that do. So just, you know, chat with your bakery. There's so many great people making bakery foods now that never use trans fats anymore. Interesting. So it's just a good question to ask. Well, this is kind of common sense stuff, yep. but we're going to move over to this territory Christ. where we're kind of in the weeds. We've got butter, is this coconut oil yes, here? Yes, it is. It, Okay, what's the deal yeah, with coconut oil? Yeah, so this category of saturated fat is really sort of a sideways thumb in that butter and coconut oil, they all make food taste really great and yay for that, but it is a saturated fat. In fact, coconut oil is more saturated than butter mm. or lard. Wow. So it's a super saturated fat, but there's been these studies that have said, oh, coconut oil is great for you. It does these wonderful things. But you say you can't get that kind of coconut oil on the store shelf. Right, the Just studies. Pretty ridiculous. I know. <laughs> sort of that little footnote at the end. The studies that were done with coconut oil used a different type of coconut oil that had so much more medium chain triglycerides, which is a big scientific word, but that's the component in coconut oil that was shown to have some beneficial effects. This is why you need to read the fine print <laughs> <laughs> and keep reading. But it's not what's sold on store shelves. And so if you're going to use coconut oil, your best bet is to use the refined or unrefined unless you're going to cook at a high heat. So more conversation okay there, so we've got the thumbs down sideways, sideways thumb, thumb and we're getting to a thumbs, thumbs up, up category one thumbs up one two thumbs up, thumbs up. Okay. okay so the next category is unsat polyunsaturated fats and this is corn oil and soybean oil and those are most of the oils that are found in foods these days and they're great to cook with they're great for heart health the reason these are not so great not so good for your heart health which is not good, so good for your brain or your vessels mm -hmm. or anything better for your heart health but even better is monounsaturated fat, and that's a two thumbs up. And, and what look changes at all of them. do you see in cooking when you use the different kinds of oils? Really about the same. There's different smoke points, and we can talk about that in a second if we've got some time. But really, you can find good high heat cooking oils in both categories. But monounsaturated fats just has one more leg up compared to polyunsaturated fats as far as being good for your health. So look for the mono. Right, and especially extra virgin olive oil. That is like if you have to have a go-to oil, to me, from the research that's out there, extra virgin is really rocking it. I love cooking with extra virgin olive oil. And Allie's cooking up some veggies cooking, right now. Yep. What are we cooking with? <laughs> what kind of oil? Well, this is any of these guys over here. So corn oil, coconut oil works, peanut oil that's refined, these high heat oils. What happens is when you get to too high a point, you'll start to see oil smoke, and then it's starting to break down, and harmful substances are forming. So these delicate oils like extra virgin isn't great for high heat cooking. You can saute with it. But when you're getting into frying and things yeah, like don't that, don't get too hot. Then head over to mm -hmm. these high heat cooking oils. Wonderful. These need to be cooked a little longer. Yes, they're a little they do. crunchy. <laughs> All right, they're they're just we're going to right. keep you on the job because you are doing fantastic, thank by the you. way. And Sue, thank you so much you for coming. And I know you're going to be back with us in our six o'clock hour to talk more about this because yeah. it is confusing. I think so. <laughs> and we need the reminders. All right, Kylie. The type of fats we eat significantly affect our health. Over the past few years, it seems like a lot has changed about which fats are best for us. This morning, nutritionist Sue Morris from Kowalski's Markets is here with the latest recommendations. Sue, thank you so much for coming in. This can be very confusing for people just because I know. the studies keep changing on which fats are good, which fats are bad. So let's start out by discussing the types of fats that are out there. Right, there's sort of this helicopter view of two categories of 
fats and there's saturated fat which tends to be solid at room temperature okay and then unsaturated fat which is liquid at room temperature but any one fat whether it's butter or olive oil or whatever is a combination of saturated and unsaturated it's just mm. different proportions to throw it into either the saturated category or the unsaturated so all right. Sort of always a mix, uh -huh. but some has more than others. And you brought in sense. you brought in different examples of the good, the bad, and the, the bad, ugly. and the just okay. <laughs> Let's start with the bad. This is kind of you brought in all my favorite foods here. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're trans fats, and okay. the companies have really done a good job of getting out trans fats, but they're still trans fats in some foods. So if you look at ingredient lists, it's the only way to really tell. And you look and stay away from foods that say partially hydrogenated or even hydrogenated, because that could be, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. So if you see hydrogenated on a label, red flag. it means red flag. And okay. so ideally, not so much of those for sure, because there's nothing good to be said about a trans fat. Got to read the labels, very Thumbs important. Down. Thumbs down. <laughs> All right, here we have sideways thumb. Why is this a sideways thumb? So this is the saturated fat category. So solid, so you've got lard and shortening mm -hmm. and butter yep. and coconut. Saturated fat is not super great for our health. So in terms of proportionately in your diet, less should be about saturated fat mm. because it's not good for heart health and anything that's not good for your heart is not good for your brain or your blood vessels. But coconut oil is the one that's, you know, back and forth. Is it, isn't We've it? Heard in so butter. Much about yeah. it. And so the issue with coconut oil to just know is that the studies that showed some really great things about coconut oil are is not the same type of coconut oil as what we buy on the shelves. So I'm not a big fan of this. Okay. As Okay. go-to fat. All right, good to know. And here, this is one thumbs up category? Yes, so polyunsaturated fats are great, much better for your heart health. And they're um, corn oil, soybean oil, flaxseed oil, all polyunsaturated. Great to have, good for heart health, but there's another category within this oil category mm -hmm. that's even better. And this, we are running out of time, but this is a two thumbs up category, and it's because this fat is good for you. Yep, my, yep, also same, but two, this has monounsaturated fats, which just has a leg up mm -hmm. over the polyunsaturates, more in them that's better for your heart, affecting your cholesterol in a better way with extra virgin olive oil. If you had to pick one, that'd be my go-to oil. You can never go wrong with extra virgin no. olive oil. The taste, too, it's so yes. good. Yes, extra right. virgin. Sue, thank you so much for breaking this all down for us. Very confusing. We always appreciate <laughs> your help. You bet.